I would define fame as in a, a trick. Fame is something that will gas you up to think that I did this and people know who I am now and it shouldn't be about you. Age of 14, I was living on the south side of Chicago. I started going on many auditions. I got on a show called All That. We didn't really know as far as like the career move, how big that the show was gonna be. Even for the producers, all of us were like, wow. As a sophomore in high school, Kel Mitchell starred on the number one show on cable TV's Nickelodeon channel. Soon he had a spinoff show and a major motion picture. Had a house, everything, just, you know, hanging out on my own. Pretty much I could do what I wanted. A lot of times in the entertainment business, they glorify sex and drugs, and it's, it's very, it's glorified like crazy. Fame was good to Kel Mitchell. He had his choice of women. And while he started getting serious with one girl, the lure of fame was too much to handle. I got drunk, right? We started going through yellow pages, and we went through these yellow pages. We were like, oh, let's just call some call girls, just for fun. And ended up having sex with one of the girls. Kel felt guilty and called his girlfriend to apologize and confess. But she had a confession of her own. I told her what had happened and she told me that she was pregnant with <laughs> my baby. And so I flipped out, I, you know, to be young, too, you know, in college, and then on a television show, and then you also have someone pregnant at this point, and you're on a kid's show. And this was the first time I actually started de dealing with suicidal um, emotions. And she said, like, Larry, let's get, in, let's get an abortion. And I agreed as well to get the abortion, too. Like, it was both of our decisions. Kel decided to stay with his wife. They had two kids together. But Kel's wife continued to be unfaithful. And then Kel's show got canceled. It was like Kel Mitchell, the man, like, what has happened to your life? What have you done? This can't be my life. What is going on? I have to save it. And even for my children, I have to figure out what to do. And it was just a lot of, lot of pressure. He basically told me that, look, man, she's, you know, she's pregnant, you know, we're tired of this, you know, she's, I want to be with her, this is what's going on. And I remember going up to the uh, top of the hotel and literally was like just about to, to jump because of the fact that I wanted to press an off switch. I felt like there needed to be an off switch, like, you know, this wasn't what I had expected for my life and I literally wanted just to, to end at that point. I literally did. Kel decided to divorce his wife, and a custody battle began. I went through a state of total depression. I ended up seeing myself at a one-bedroom apartment um, in a neighborhood that I wouldn't have been in before. I didn't have a car. Um, I lost so much money with the court and child support and so much to the point where it was just a little bit of money in the, the bank account. I remember electricity went out and I just cried and just sat there on the floor and it was like everything was taken away. With no money, no family, and no friends, Kel met a minister who showed him there was more to life than fame. And the only person that I could turn to at that point was Christ. And I started to go to this church. Things just started to change in my life. And I said, okay, that's it. I'm giving up drinking. I forgave my my ex-wife, I let go of the, the anger. And what's beautiful about all this too is that as this was going on, I developed a friendship with my now wife. I thought I would never love again, you know, at all, you know, but I've loved again and, and my life is, uh, is beautiful, I'm happy. Today, Kel is married. He still makes movies and stars in TV shows talks to teenagers about the value of abstinence and has a message for those pursuing fame. Me coming from Chicago and being on television was because of the grace of God. There was no purpose to live, but now there's so much purpose for life. There's so much that needs to be done in the body of Christ, and I'm glad to be a part of it.